we have around 7,000 Windows 10 devices that need to be upgraded to Windows 11 through Windows servicing. Uh, the help desk does not want to do more than 70 devices per week to keep the possible support calls under control. I think that would, I think that would make the process to run into uh, to run into the Windows 12 release. Yeah, that that sounds. Uh, I don't have the calculator right in front of me uh, or the Windows 12 release date, uh, but that well, would take some time. <laughs> That, that was one thing we learned in Redmond uh, a few weeks back when we visited Microsoft. There is no such thing as Windows 12 planned at this point in time. Yeah, Not even like a hint of it. So uh, we're going to be stuck with Windows 11 for a bit. But if you're talking about... Um, so basically 70 a day and you have 7,000. That's 100 weeks. That's two years. And... Windows 11 goes out of support. Sorry, Windows 10 22H2 Enterprise end of life is October, right? Yes. Yeah, October 14. 78 weeks. Yeah, you're, you're coming up a year short, give or take, or <laughs> eight months short. So that means that you will have to pay for updates for about a year. Yep. until you can patch those last 3,500 some devices. So if you're willing to pay $61 per device times 3,000, or was it 64? Let's say 60. They got a discount. $200,000. Little pricey. Uh, yeah. Probably a little more pricey than the possible support calls that would show up. I think. Yeah, I mean, there is also this possibility to, you know, do it right. That's right. To deploy it in such a way so you don't have the default 10% failures and you rather have to deal with the 2% failures. Mm -hmm. Then you can probably deploy five times as many a day or a week, whatever that was. So instead of 70 per week, you can do 350 per week get you done by Christmas. That's right. And I think so, so uh, um, Amir did ask as well um, if we had any uh, if we had any guidance really on cadence in such a scenario. I think if I know you well enough, sir, that your answer is it depends. It depends, but based on 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 best practices from from the customers that I, I've worked with, Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we, we, we recommend no more than 20,000 per day because it gets harder after that. That's the largest number I've seen so far. And went fairly smoothly? Well, when you have that many clients to upgrade every day, you kind of spend a long time doing this particular piece here because every fraction of a percent you can make it better it actually a lot of devices if you would go with the default failure rates 10 percent out of twenty thousand a day that's two thousand failing that's a lot yeah so anything you can do to make it better and i know this particular organization they they didn't just have a, a phased approach, validation and upgrade and whatnot. They had multiple of them. Because again, everything you could do to make it better mm -hmm. uh, is good. Uh, what I don't like about the servicing plans themselves is that by default, they don't have a, a lot of control mechanisms. Uh, but uh, with a little healthy help from uh, uh, the community and, and people like Adam and others. Uh, you can make that behavior better. Uh, it's not as good as sequences, but it can be pretty good. And Adam's organization, for example, this is how they decided to do the rollout. Uh, <clears throat> other options, uh, we do have trainings on the topic here on the Academy, paid ones as well as free ones. 
Uh, let's see where I put the Windows 11 one. Should be here somewhere. Yeah. Hour and a half on notes from the field. So. Excellent. That will be that one. Price is just right, too. <laughs>